football can be a cruel game from time to time. Fans around the world have experienced the disappointment that football can bring, and that makes people sad, of course. But enough of the doom and gloom. We will show you the funny side of football with the 15 funniest football moments of all time, at least from the ones we could find or remember. So, in this video, you will see some of the funniest moments in football history ever. If you like videos like this, you should definitely subscribe to our channel, ALKM, The World of Sports. And if you already did, let's start with our first funny moment. Let's start with Paulo Di Cano versus Fabian Barthez. Okay, many Manchester United fans won't find this funny, but for everyone else, it was gold. What was that crazy Frenchman Fabian thinking? If I hold my hand up long enough, I'm sure they'll change their minds. Even when Paulo Di Cano was only two meters away from him, he refused to lower his hand and actually tried to stop Di Cano's goal. Play until the final whistle, Fabian. And don't forget the time that David Dunn got his feet in a tangle. It's a derby between Birmingham and Aston Villa, and David Dunn wants to impress the crowd with a masterful trick. But it didn't really go to plan. Yes, David Dunn not only missed the ball, but kicked his standing leg, causing him to topple over himself in front of thousands of spectators and give the ball to Aston Villa. Still, he'd give us a good laugh about it afterwards. Matt Letizier versus Massimo Taibbi was great too. Ah, Massimo Taibbi. No list of funny football moments would be complete without him. He was signed to fill the rather large boots left by Peter Schmeichel. Unfortunately, it was those boots, or rather cleats, that caused this gaffe. At least that's what he claims. Whatever he does for the rest of his career, Tybee will always be remembered in England for letting the ball go through his legs after the simplest of saves. Peter Schmeckel, he wasn't. Then Laurent Robert versus Olivier Bernard, the first but not the last time two Newcastle players will be on this list. Laurent Robert had one of the hardest shots in the league. So when you get hit in the head by one from just 10 yards out, it really hurts. That would have been funny even without Bernard's attempts to stay upright before staggering backward and eventually landing on the ground. According to reports, Robert was unhappy with Bernard's poor play before that, so he hit the ball as hard as he could. Bernard's head just got in the way. Oof, Phil Babb against the post. When Chelsea's Kasaragi put the ball in the net, Phil Babb heroically did the same. Unfortunately, he also deflected the ball against the post. Ouch. I don't think I need to say much about that. Just watch it and feel sorry for poor Phil Babb and his future lack of children. And of course, we have Didier Drogba versus Jens Lehmann. To be fair to Drogba, I'm sure he stepped on some particularly slippery turf when Jens Lehmann pushed him viciously, and I'm sure Drogba in turn just knocked Jens off balance. I mean, two full-grown professional athletes wouldn't go down so easily, right? Well, they did, and while it was hilarious to watch, it also shows what's wrong with Premier League football today. Unfortunately for them, Tom Daly just snatched the last qualifying spot for Beijing from under their noses. Lee Boyer versus Kieran Dyer was really funny too. Football matches are usually entertaining, but when they're between two players from the same team, it's even more entertaining. Boyer wanted the ball, but Dyer wouldn't give it to him, so he went over like an 8th grader and punched him right in the face. Both received red cards, so Newcastle had to play with nine men, a smile and a handshake in front of the cameras a few days later, and everything was back to normal. Only they still hated each other. The paramedic slip is just a classic for football comedy. Call me old-fashioned, but I thought when first responders came it was to help the injured player. However, this paramedic seems to have had enough of all the diving in today's football and recklessly tackled the injured player with two feet. Okay, maybe it was just an innocent slip, but it was still funny to watch, and if the player was faking the injury, it must have been karma. If all paramedics were like that, maybe there wouldn't be so many divers. The own goal of the goalkeeper is really sad for the player, but awesome for us. Our goals are an unfortunate part of football. Some are more spectacular than others, but I don't think there are any as stupid as this one. 
In Japan, the Minami goalkeeper threw the ball not to one of his own players, but directly into his own goal. Interestingly, this goal was scored even though a direct throw isn't allowed, and the goalkeeper had to fish the ball out of the net in front of thousands of spectators, which is very embarrassing. Paulo Di Cagno vs. Paul Alcock seemed like a disaster, but it was funny in the end. Yes, that crazy Italian Paulo Di Cagno appears on this list for the second time. After a bit of a scuffle with Martin Cowan and other Arsenal players, Di Cagno was shown the red card by referee Paul Alcock. A soft push from Di Cagno followed, and Paul Alcock made one of the most undignified falls ever. He looked like he'd lost his footing on a night of drinking. Nigel Winterburn let De Cagno know what he thought of him as he left the pitch. The slightest movement from him was enough to silence him. A referee falling down is really ironic, actually. It's often said that referees become referees because they love football but aren't good at it. Well, this is proof of that theory. We all love to see referees fall over, but this is probably the best of them all. He tries to backheel the ball back, but somehow manages to fall over and land right on his embarrassed face. And when Robbie Savage took against everyone, we were all excited. It's fair to say that Robbie Savage isn't the most popular footballer in the world. Judging by this clip, he's not the happiest either. He always seems to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I'm sure fans can think of a player more deserving than Robbie Savage. Any of these clips could make it onto this list on their own, be it the attacks on him by his teammates, his opponents, or even the referee. And a whole generation tried Rene Higuita's scorpion kick. Only Rene would do something like this. When the ball came in from Jamie Redknapp, Higuita decided not to catch the ball like a normal goalkeeper, but to shake it with the famous scorpion kick. Football fans around the world still try to imitate the scorpion kick to this day, and almost everyone knows it. In a crazy and wonderful career of a crazy goalkeeper, this is probably the funniest and craziest moment. Second is Chris Brass's own goal. Probably the funniest own goal of all time. Definitely the funniest one I've ever seen. While trying to clear the ball over his own head, Chris Brass smacked the ball into his own face and the ball ended up in the net. To make matters worse, Brass broke his nose in the freak accident. That just makes things even funnier. And the biggest one is of course a classic, the mistakes with the stretchers. There are two in this category. The first one is the best in our opinion, after spending a few seconds saying which way they were going to go, and yet they both go in different directions. Imagine being the injured player in the second one. I'm sure when you're on the stretcher injured, it's at the top of the list of things you don't want to experience. So with that, our list is actually over. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, ALKM, the world of sports, for more videos like this. And of course, you can always tell us about your favorite funniest moments down in the comment section. We'll see you then in the next video. Goodbye.